Hi everyone. Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about uncaught in promise syntax error unexpected token less than in JSON at position zero. So I got this error when I was uh, developing something in React.js, and when I got this error, I was trying to look into it and. Let's try to see the code for this. So I got the error in this file uh, where I am writing something on componented mode. I'm trying to fetch the data from a URL and I'm calling a get method and I'm passing some headers. So, but that should not be a problem right now. Uh, in this case, I am trying to fetch the data from this URL, uh, but we are getting this error as uncaught and promise syntax error unexpected token. So, in this case, uh, what you need to do is open the developer tools and go to the network tab. Try to see what is the error you are getting. So let's say in this url it is not giving me the correct data also the status is incorrect like i see 404 here so that means there's something wrong with the service i assume uh, so the first step to debug should be uh, like checking if the service is running or not if not you can get this error 404 uh, let's say if a service is running then come back to the code and find out uh, whether you have passed the details properly in the fetch method All right uh, so wherever you're making the HTTP call make sure you have passed the correct value there correct URL and make sure the method is correct the headers required headers are passed if there is a token required you are passing the token okay so if that is in place uh, now for in my case and when i just validated the url i see a typo here so this could be the cause of the error so i just correct my url okay fine and then I'll save it. So once I save it, uh, let me try to hit the application again and try to see if it is giving me the error. Nope, I see the error is resolved. On save, it loads automatically, and I can see there is no error in the console or the application and everything works fine so this is a simple issue uh, which can happen to anyone and the best way to debug this is to check the service is running or not if the service is running try to check from your side from the ui side if the application is called properly or not by passing all the details so hope this helps guys, uh, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.